Hi, I'm Will Braithwaite from NVIDIA, and I'm going to be introducing the new iRay for Maya plugin. If you're not familiar with iRay, it's our physically based renderer. It traces light paths in order to create accurate light and material simulations. Now, the plugin's been tightly integrated with Autodesk Maya, so if you're a traditional Maya user, you should find it very intuitive. In order to make your workflow more efficient, we've also tied it into iRay Server and NVIDIA Quadro VCA for remote distributed rendering. Alternatively, it will scale with any additional NVIDIA GPUs you have in your system. Let's take a look. So we'll begin by changing our renderer to the iRay Photo Real render, and we'll start a new IPR session. Now, the viewport's render is actually the render camera. So as soon as I move the viewport and tumble around, we should see an update immediately, completely interactive. Now, iRay lets you work like a photographer, taking a picture of a digital world. So a lot of photographic workflow elements are here, such as changing exposure or adjusting the gamma. This will let you modify the gamma of what you see in the render view without changing your linear workflow. We can also change things like depth of field in the typical way adjusting Maya camera attributes. Now let's look at materials. iRay can support all kinds of complex shader graphs such as this one for the tire, but we're gonna focus on the metallic paint of the motorcycle body here. I can adjust the color and see interactive updates immediately in the viewport. For now, let's just make it gray. Incidentally, this metallic paint comes from the V Materials catalog, which is a freely downloadable library of physically verified materials from nvidia.com. You simply install it and it will appear in this list in iRay for Maya. So what about lights? Well, we have some synthetic lights here to highlight certain lines of the motorcycle, but we also have an image-based light with a high dynamic range environment map in the background. We can change the environment and we can rotate and reposition it instantaneously seeing a very fast update in the viewport. Let's change it back for now. Now, if your image-based light correctly represents the environment, then the results you see on screen should be practically indistinguishable from reality. So iRay for Maya has a standard set of compositing passes, but it also supports what we call light path expressions to enable you to create custom passes for things like objects, lights, or even specific material parameters. Amazingly, all these passes have been rendering in the background interactively. Now we're ready to create our final render, Let's use iRay Server so we can tap into the rendering resources of some different machines. I'll submit my render, and then in iRay Server, here we can see all of our render passes as they're created. We can combine all of the lights additively, and any interesting color bleeding effects that we're getting from the metallic paint onto the rest of the bike should show up seamlessly because of the power of light path expressions. Thanks for taking the time to see this quick tour of iRay for Maya. Please go to nvidia.com to download a 90-day free trial. Download the plugin, try it out with your own content, and please don't forget to visit the Advanced Rendering Forums for tips and support. Thank you.